Okay, I'm going to be doing a counting method division problem with a three-digit dividend divided by a one-digit divisor. So I'm going to start by setting my divisor, which is seven, in the far left-hand side of my abacus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm using my counting method there, doing a four-five exchange. And I'm going to start setting my dividend from the right-hand side, just like I'd normally set a number. So one, two, three hundred and fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. Three hundred and fifteen divided by seven. So the first thing I need to do is compare the first digit in my dividend with my divisor. So which is larger? Oh, the seven of my dividend divisor is larger than the three of my dividend. So I don't skip a rod. I just go directly to the left of my dividend to start writing my quotient. So here I have 7. How many times does that go into 31? 31. Well, I know that 7 times 4 is 28, so I'm going to set 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 times 4 is 28, so I'm going to subtract 28 from 31. So I'm going to subtract the 20. And then over here, when I go to the tens column, I can't subtract eight, but I can subtract one. So I go one, two, and then I return all nine beads, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I have three here now in my tens column. So I'm going to start comparing my three to my seven. And again, I find that the seven is larger than the three. So I'm not going to skip a route. I'm going to go directly to the left of my dividend. And so now I'm going to say, how many times does seven go into 35? Well, seven goes into 35 five times. So I'm going to set my five, one, two, three, four, five. And so I'm going to say five times seven is 35, so one, two, three, the 30, and then subtracting the five, one, two, three, four, five. And I get my quotient, which has no remainder. The remainder will be written here, if it were, on the tens and the units rod. So my quotient is 45. And that's how you do a um, division problem using the counting method on the abacus.